Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. What's up, Water Signs? Okay, so this will be a group together video, y'all. This will be all y'all, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And this will be a pick apart reading for you. So just choose your pile. If you would like to choose pile one, pile two, pile three, pick an emoji. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Pile one, y'all coming in at 25 seconds. Okay, so for those of y'all that chose Pile One, hi y'all, welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching. Okay, so let's see what's being hidden, what's behind the scenes for you. What's hidden for Pile One? Y'all getting ready to take a risk on somebody that's lying to you about something. Some of y'all could even be getting ready to go on an adventure with somebody that's lying to you about something. So this could be like you um, getting ready to go on a trip with somebody that's like playing you in a way. And a lot of y'all could know this person playing you, but you don't really want to wake up and see the truth about the situation. So some of y'all could be in denial about something. In denial about somebody like doing you wrong. And it's stressing you out because a lot of y'all know they're not the one, but yeah, a lot of y'all know they're not the one. We got closing this cycle. A lot of y'all know y'all need to close this out with this person, but you've been letting the situation kind of linger on. A lot of y'all don't even love this person like that. You don't love them like that. You don't really feel connected to them. You don't really feel like it's a peaceful situation at all. A lot of y'all even see them as a toxic um feminine we got a female coming out but a lot of y'all see this person as a toxic person a toxic individual um if you are a woman watching me this is like a man feeling like you um are toxic and they closing out this cycle with you they walking away because they feel like there's no love here y'all not as connected as they, you know, would want it to be. This person feels like there's no connection for real. And they feel like at first they didn't understand that. They could have been lying to themselves, telling themselves that they had some type of emotion for you. Or they had some type of emotion for the situation. But honestly, they were only keeping themselves around to like have fun. This is somebody that was looking for a person to have a fun time with. And they feel like... They was also angry with another person. This could be somebody that was angry with another person. They feel like they could have been dealing with you in their karmic era. Like when they didn't care about taking risks, when they didn't care about doing whatever. So if this is the type of person that likes to party, this is the type of man, you know, or woman that likes to party. They looking at you like, well, you know, well, they like to party too. You know, power one like to party too. So we finna kick it. We finna do this. We finna do that. You know, it's going to be, you know, a ball. But when this person around you, they're not having fun. And honestly, it's because their mind is elsewhere. So it's like y'all could be doing a lot of shit together. Like y'all could be going a lot of places. This could even be somebody that will come take you out on a date or you take them out on a date. And it's like the moment should be fun because y'all are doing something that's supposed to be a fun thing together. But this person, ain't they ain't excited. They feel like they're not. It's like they're not there. You looking at them and it's like their mind is elsewhere or they constantly checking their phone or they constantly like looking all around, looking elsewhere. It's like they checking their surroundings. So this could be somebody that's kind of like scared to be seen out in public with you. I'm not gonna lie. Like they could be checking their surroundings, trying to make sure like don't nobody spot them, like family members, friends, um, if they in love with somebody else, they don't want that person to spot them out in public with you. This is somebody that's kind of like trying to hide the situation, keep it hidden. But they are kind of like, some of y'all may know about the other person that they in love with or that they trying to like. So this is like one of them situations. If you're a woman, this is one of them situations where a man is coming to you. 
bashing his ex, talking shit about his ex. And then um, all of a sudden it's like, y'all living this great life. Like, oh, they talking shit about their ex to me. We going on dates. We doing this. We doing that. They talking shit about their ex because they still love their ex. And whoever their ex is, it's like they want to make it seem like whoever this is is childish. Oh, they're a childish woman. They do this, 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 and that. But this is like a man that, that doesn't want to take accountability for his ways. So instead of him like admitting to the fact that he's like a, a childish ass man or a trash ass man, he wants to make the feminine, whoever it is that left him, the problem. And this is why he comes back to you and vent about the other person. So this is not him like talking shit about the other person because it's true. This is him talking shit about the other person because he could not force the other person to settle down with him and to accept his trash ways. So don't be confused. This is somebody that's kind of like trying to play both sides, but they're not playing. They're not trying to play the other person. They want to be with the other person, but they feel like they can't be with the other person. So this is like somebody coming back to you and they feel like in order to get back in your good graces, they got to convince you that they don't love the other person. Now, if you are a man, this is a woman doing this to you. This is a woman that's in love with another man and they don't want to be in this situation with you because they know it's not no love here. And you know, it's not no love here either. This is like two people that recognize that they want nothing to do with each other, that they're not meant for each other, that they don't want the situations. You know it. And this person knows it too. They have somebody else in the background. If you're a man, they have somebody else in the background that they do want to be with. But they feel like you are the person that they can do more with. You are the person that will take them out on dates. You are the person that will take them on trips. You are the person that will give them what they want, which is to um, live a high lifestyle, which is to like. It's like a female that's looking for like a man with money. I'm looking for a man with money. I'm looking for a baller. I'm looking for somebody that could take me on trips. It could be a man too, but if you're into the same sex. But this is a woman, if you're a man looking for... You know, whoever this is, they looking for somebody with money. They looking for somebody that can take them places and do what they want them to do without asking questions. We can go on a trip and you won't question my intentions for wanting to go on this trip. Yes, I'm a gold digger, but I don't need you to ask me that. Yes, I'm a gold digger, but I don't need you to question me. This is somebody that really don't want to be questioned for their intentions with you, but they know they don't love you. And they definitely got somebody else on the side. Whoever the person is that they have on the side, they feel like this person is rougher than you. They rougher than you. They more so of a thug. Like this person could have been in jail before. And it's somebody that's excited by that. They excited by the fact that like this other person that they sleeping around with is like more manlier. They they feel like that makes them manlier. Oh, he been to jail. He he manly. He a thug. He manly. He this, he manly. This is like a woman that's looking for a rough neck. I just want a rough neck from the tongue. <laughs> Whatever the fuck she said. This is like a woman that want like a rough neck. Somebody that's rougher than you. Yeah, power one. And they know what comes with that. They know what comes with that. They know like if I fuck with who, whoever this is that they want to deal with outside of you that they was sneaking around with. They trying their hardest to keep this person a secret. They trying their hardest um, to like keep this under wraps. They really don't want you to find out about this person. And honestly, they don't want you to find out about this person because this person, they are this person's secret. This is like you trying to take somebody on a Like if you're a man, this is like you trying to take a woman on a trip that you know ain't for you. And she got a whole nother dude that she fucking around with on the side, keeping a secret but basically <laughs> she don't really she, I, I feel like she keeping the other person a secret because she feels like the other person is not claiming her the other person is keeping her a secret so she's trying to keep them a secret from you but if the other person changes their mind and say okay well i'll make you my woman they gonna leave you behind power one this is somebody that has a plan. Like, okay, well, if the other person don't want me, if they're not going to make me their main girl, especially if you're a man, this is a woman that's like, if they, if the other person is not going to make me their main girl, 
then I'm going to keep Scorpio. Scorpio going to be my main person. And I'm going to leave Scorpio when this other person get ready for me. So be careful with that. Somebody has a plan to like ditch you once they get what they want out of you. So if you're thinking about taking somebody on a trip or doing something real special or fancy for somebody, this somebody that's trying to play you out of that date, they're trying to play you out of that trip. And then once they hear from the other person, they're going to ghost you. They're going to ghost you as soon as they hear from whoever the other person is. If you're a woman, this is a man ghosting you. Like, the situation is the same, like, no matter what, what, what end it's on. If you're a woman, this is somebody that's ghosting you. Because they obsessed with their ex. And it's like, they want to convince you every time they come back around you that their ex is crazy. Their ex is obsessed with them. Their ex keep calling them, but they are the ones that's calling their ex. They obsessed with their ex. And they trying to keep that a secret. If you know your person was fucking around with somebody else, they still fucking with that person or they still trying. And it's like they trying to convince you that that person crazy. They won't leave me alone. No, that's not true. They not running from that person. They calling that person. They meeting up with that person. They want this person back bad. And they trying to keep it a secret, even though they feel like you already know it's not a secret. This is somebody that feels like you have already found out about something. This ain't a secret to you. It's not brand new to you. But they feel like they can continue to convince you that they don't care about the other person and it'll make it all okay. It'll make you fuck with them and give them what they want, which is money or trips or dates. It's like I can get what I want out of power one if I keep if I keep like lying to them and keeping this a secret that I want the other person and I don't want them. Yeah, this somebody that feels like you don't realize what's going on. For a lot of y'all, they feel like you don't watch readings. So if you've told them, oh, I don't watch readings, you do watch readings. A lot of y'all do watch readings, and it's like you keep telling this person that you don't because you feel like they keep trying to manipulate the truth. But by you telling them that, this is somebody that's like, oh, they don't watch readings. I can keep playing them. And they doing just that because they watching you from a secret account and they also watching readings from a secret account too to see how to play with you. Yeah, there's somebody that wants to convince you that they do care. They want to they want to convince you that the love that they quote unquote have for you is real, but there's somebody that really does not love you. It's all a fantasy. Yeah, like I can't look, y'all. I kid you not, it's all a fantasy for this person. They come back around, they try to sweep you off your feet, try to make you think that they want you, but they only doing this because they've been getting readings and spying on you. Somebody been getting personal readings or they've been watching readings on um they've been watching readings on YouTube to figure out like how to play with you, how to stop you from getting what you actually do want. So this is somebody that knows that like if you moving on and you trying to be with somebody else or you in love with somebody else, this is somebody that knows that. They know that your your heart is with another person and they kind of like mad at that. They fed up about that. And this is somebody that's like, well, I can't convince you to love me, but I could keep I can stop you from being with this other person. I could keep convincing you that I love you, even though I know I don't. And we got legal matters. This is somebody that got y'all going through legal matters. They could have you in court for something. This could be somebody that got you wrapped up into like some drama. I'm hearing fraud. I'm hearing fraud. Somebody could have got you wrapped up in a case for fraud. And for others of y'all, this is somebody that um got you wrapped up in something for child support. Yeah, they don't love you, y'all. This is somebody that would not talk to you if they were getting what they wanted from the court. So this is somebody that's like... If the judge grant me $2,000 a month for child support, if the judge grant me $5,000 for child support a month, I will never talk to this motherfucker a day in my life. This is a woman that's feeling like feeling this way or a man that's feeling this way. Like, if I get what I want, I'll never talk to power one again. 
um, if this is like something where you got them wrapped up into like some legal shit, say if you like got a restraining order against somebody or you um got wrapped up in a fraud case because of somebody, this is like you feeling like if this case go good, if it go in my favor, if everything turn out the way that it needs to, fuck them. I don't got to talk to them. You feeling like this. So this is two people feeling like they really don't need to talk to each other as long as they both get what they want. So. Yeah, y'all yeah, feel no type of way about the connection. Y'all yeah, both feel like it's no strings attached. You just don't feel like you're better off without the situation. Some of y'all feel like you won't be happy if this person is not in your life. Which is crazy because they're not making you happy to begin with. For a lot of y'all, this person has never made you happy. But a part of you feels like you wouldn't be happy without them, which is weird. You could be cutting this person off because you love somebody else. Or you could be telling them you're cutting them off because you love somebody else. With a lot of y'all, you still around this person, though. You still be around them. And it's like, what what good is it for you to tell them that you love somebody else if you still gonna do the same shit with them? If you still gonna let them, like, play you and manipulate you and get money and shit out of you? Some of y'all are letting somebody use you while telling them that you love somebody else. And it's like, if you love the other person, why are you letting somebody else use and manipulate you out of everything that you have? That makes no sense. Go be with the person that go be with the person that you know you love and that's not using you. But a lot of y'all only cutting this person off to test them. See, that's the thing. You want to have this person around as your play toy, but you keep getting played in the process. A lot of y'all are telling them about the other person. Yeah, I love somebody else. This is it. I don't want to fuck with you no more. A lot of y'all are telling them about this to test them. And you want to do this because you want to know if they're going to celebrate the breakup. If they're going to say, yes, yeah, it's, it's a good thing that y'all over. Y'all want to know like if they're going to be willing to cheat with you. If they're going to be willing to sleep with you. But you know they're sleeping with somebody that you know. Some of y'all know that they're sleeping with somebody close to you. Somebody you celebrate with. A friend. This person has done you all type of dirty. Like, they could have slept with your friend and some more shit. And it's like, y'all are still, like, saying goodbye to this person just to test them. Like, oh, I want to know if they're going to chase me. I want to know if they're going to fight for me. I want to know if they're going to let me fuck after I tell them that I'm in love with somebody else. And honestly, y'all, this is why the other person won't commit to you. This is why the other person don't want to be with you. What's um because y'all playing this game, it's like y'all playing a game to see if you can get what you want or to get your way and have both of these people. I want to be in and out with both of them. I wanna I wanna sleep with both of them. I wanna do this, I wanna do that. But for a lot of y'all, the person that you're trying to sleep with, their health ain't even good. Like I said, they was fucking somebody close to you and their health is not in a good position. Why would you want to sleep with somebody that you know is not in a good position health-wise? This could be somebody that's carrying an STD. And it's like, yeah, but I want to sleep with them. No. Why? Why would, you want to, why would you want to sleep with somebody that's carrying something? And then go back and cheat with the person. And then go back and then sleep with the person that you actually do love. And it's like possibly passing shit to them. It's like, why would you do that? Why would you hurt another person that's not hurting you? By trying to sleep with somebody that's not even worth sleeping with because they nasty and they be in and out with everybody. I'm hearing she for the streets. They for the streets. Whoever this is that y'all sleeping with, they for the streets. The person you want to be in and out with, that's the only reason why you're telling them you in love with somebody else. Because you want them to gossip about it. You want them to talk shit. You want them to like be jealous you want them to feel some type of way why would you want this person to gossip about the person that you with yeah I, i'm power one y'all messy <laughs> power one y'all what's hidden is the fact that y'all are messy it's like you want all of this shit to happen to you you want all of this 
to take place. You want to be used. You want to be hurt by this person. And I'm so sorry to say it like that, but that's what's going on here. It's like somebody wants to be used. Somebody wants to like have the person that they know is using them to talk bad about the person that they love. And they doing this because it's like, oh, well, the person that I love got me waiting to be with them. So I'm going to let my side bitch talk shit about them. Or I'm going to let my side dude talk shit about them since they know I want to be with them and they not giving me my way. Why would they give you your way, pal one? Look at what you're doing to them. You sleeping with somebody else that you know nasty and that you know for the streets. And you feel like they're supposed to allow you to do that. Oh, you going to let me sleep with this hoe over here. And you too. You gonna let me be in and out. Why do a person gotta let you do that to them? When you shouldn't even be doing it to yourself. <laughs> you fucking up your own help by fucking with this person that's for the streets. And it's like you expect the person that you love to be okay with that. You are the one that's in the wrong here. You are. It's kind of like, it's weird. It's like you trying to hold on to somebody that could be everything for you. And then hold on to trash as well. But... Honey, you can't do both. You got to let one go. Y'all waiting to see if somebody really want to be single or if they just going to allow you to like do this. This is y'all testing somebody else. So some of y'all could be going back to the other person that you know dogging you out. This could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's doing you bad. Um, an Aquarius again. Y'all could be um, going back and forth between this person and the person that you love. And it's like, well, I'm going to cheat on my person that I love to see if they accept it. I'm going to cheat with the other person that I know using me to see if my to see if my person going to let me do this to them. To see if my person going to let me dog them. Why would you try to dog somebody that ain't dogging you, though? Why would you try to test somebody that's actually doing right by you is the question and risk losing them for somebody that's going to fuck everybody else in America the moment you lose your relationship? <laughs> I'm so confused. This is like a situation where y'all are kind of the ones that's needing to wake up here. Y'all are the ones that's needing to smell the roses here and to see, like, what mistakes you're making along the way because... A lot of y'all are throwing away somebody that really loves you for somebody that's fucking everybody and telling everybody they love them every five minutes, but they're only doing it to get what they can out of them. And it's like y'all are comparing the two people and your vendetta is against, you have, a you have a vendetta, a personal vendetta against the person that you know loves you and that you love. It's like, well, they're my enemy now. I have to destroy them. I have to ruin them. I'm going to let my side bitch talk shit about them. I'm going to let my side dude talk shit about them. I'm going to actually get them some, some tea. I'm going to get them some information to say about this person. Y'all are trying to destroy somebody that has never done shit to you, which is weird. And then it's like the other person is actually being a problem in your life. You just allowing them to do it. A lot of y'all are going towards them freely. Some of y'all are even gossiping about, like, what's what's the Eight of Swords? Y'all feel like somebody, the person is telling you the truth. You want to make everybody else believe that they're gossiping, they're lying. Um, they the ones that, that's this. They the ones that's that. They the ones that's moving reckless. They the ones that's... So it's like y'all are lying on somebody. The person that you love, you want to destroy them and make them look like trash because somebody else hurt you. Oh, the person that I love, a liar. They tried to get me locked up. They tried to do this. They tried to do that. But you, you feel like talking about this person is going to make them come back your way. Some of y'all are trying to bully somebody into a relationship with you. If I talk shit about them enough, they'll come back. No, the fuck they won't. That is not how you get your way in life. Getting you, you being with this person means you need to straight, straighten up and change your ways. That's how you get this person back. Change your ways and grow up. You cannot get this person back by talking shit about them. Nobody is attracted to a person that talks shit about them. I don't know. I feel like some of y'all in this pile feel like abuse is the way to like keep a person that you love. Abuse is the way to get a person that you love. 
I can abuse them and keep them. I could be in and out with them and keep them. I could have this bitch on the side and then fuck them too and keep them. No, you cannot. I could talk bad about them and start rumors about them and keep them. No, you cannot. Some of y'all, what y'all don't see coming is um, you're going to be, I feel like a lot of y'all going to be needing redemption. I'm not going to lie. You're going to be trying to redeem yourself from all of the mistakes that you made because a lot of y'all are going to be going through a rough time. That's, what's, that's what you don't see coming. That's what's behind the scenes. Because of your mindset, you're getting ready to go through a whole, it's like shit storm. And it's because you tried to like destroy somebody that was trying to like heal and help you. While protecting people that you knew never loved you, which is the other person that's trying to use you for your money. The third party. Yep. A lot of y'all are going to end up struggling with a third party. That's it's like karma. That's what's behind the scenes. That's what's hidden. It's like instant karma that's getting ready to swoop in. That you're gonna be experiencing with a third party. Cause some of y'all are breadcrumbing another person, or you're trying to breadcrumb another person so you can keep continue to give to a third party or continue to be used by a third party because that's what you want to do. It's like you want to be used by a third party and you're kind of tired of the person that you love exposing it. It's like, I don't want people to know that I'm being used by this bitch and I like it. and I like the toxicity and I'm not doing anything about it. Y'all kind of like, or breadcrumbing another person and it's kind of like weird. You resent the right person for being right. It's like you resent somebody that you love for being good to you. The person that has never hurt you, it's like you hate them because they never hurt you. You hate them because they they never dogged you out. They never did you wrong. You hate them because they force you to look in the mirror. A lot of y'all hate this person because when you look in the mirror and when you are without this person, you have to really own up to why you're without this person. You don't like taking accountability. You don't like taking accountability and you feel like this person that you love forces you to take accountability. Because this is the person that you always lose by thinking that you can play with them. And it's like once you lose them, you realize that you don't want to lose them. You don't want to be without them. And you end up realizing that the person that you was trying your hardest to invest into and treat right was the wrong person. Oh, I'm trying my hardest to do this person right. I'm trying my hardest to invest into this person and they the ones that are stealing all my money. They the bad investment. They this, they that. And you're, you're right. So it's like y'all going to be realizing something at the last minute that you've been trying your hardest to invest into the whole, to the wrong per. I was about to say into a whole. So into a whole or into the wrong person the whole time. A lot of y'all are going to be realizing that you are the bad investment. And I'm so sorry. I can't sugarcoat it to you. I see it no other way in the cards. Like a lot of y'all are gonna be realizing that you are the bad bad investment. Like, because it's not the fact that you don't deserve a good relationship, it's the fact that you don't want to change to have a good relationship. A lot of y'all have like the perfect partner in front of your eyes. You've already met the one, but you don't want to change to to have this person. You don't want to change to keep this person. A lot of y'all just want to force this person to accept your your negative ways. I don't want to change for you. I just want to, I just want you to accept the fact that I want to do deal with this person, that person, that person. No, no. Life don't work like that. When you fall in love, you got to make some sacrifices. You can't be in love with somebody and then feel like you're supposed to keep your options open. If you want to be single, be single. You can't have your cake and eat it too. And you can't stay with this person over here and then continue to like deal with whoever this is from your past that you allow them to drain and use you. So a lot of y'all, you, what's going on behind the scenes is that you're trying to destroy somebody and you know that you're making the wrong decision and you know that you're destroying the wrong person. A lot of y'all know this, but it's like the person that you love, you want them to shut up. You don't want them to continue telling your business. You don't want them to tell the third party business. You don't want them to expose the fact that the relationship or what you're trying to have with the third party is just a sham. You don't want them to expose that. So they, they have become your enemy. 
and to like hurt this person what you're trying to do to them is like get them to be in a relationship with you or get them to want to fall all over you this is like you wanting to come like you wanting a person that you in love with to fall in love harder than you it's like i need them to love me harder so i can reject them so i can make them feel unwanted like i feel because i don't want any of my other options i really want to be with them i really want to marry them if you wanted to be with them and if you wanted to marry them, you wouldn't be trying to take care of another person. You wouldn't be allowing another person to use you. You wouldn't be fucking with another person if you really wanted to marry this person. You feel like they supposed to sit around and keep trying to be with you while you steady looking at other options and doing what the fuck you want to do? No, they're not supposed to stick with you after that. They're not supposed to be with you when you treat them like that. It's like y'all feel like you are supposed to be the boss. I'm supposed to have my way. You supposed to sit here and wait on me. No. When hell freeze over, <laughs> it's a no. So a lot of y'all are kind of like trying to reject this person. Oh, I want them to feel rejected. I want them to want me so I can reject them and tell them I don't want them. And it's not working out the way that you thought it would because you feel like this person is constantly rejecting you. A lot of y'all are not working either, and you feel like you have to continue to keep this lie up, and that's why you don't want to be with this person. It's like you don't want them to know that you're not working. You don't want them to know that you can't afford to be with them um, at the moment. But honestly, the only reason why y'all can't afford to be with them is because you're giving all your money away to the person that's trying to use you. This could be a Virgo trying to use you. This could be an Aquarius. Uh, this could be a Libra, Taurus. But y'all giving y'all money away to that person that's trying to use you. It could be one of them signs that I just called. Um, and a lot of y'all also have multiple women. You have multiple women, multiple men. You have multiple options. And you're dealing with all, all of these people. Because um, you don't want to take the right person serious because you don't have enough money for them. Um, a lot of y'all also have like a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio female this is going to try to tell you that they pregnant. That's what's hidden. This person is going to try to tell you that they pregnant. They're going to try to play with you. Um, tell you that they're having your baby so they can get a relationship out of you. They know this is unfair. This could also, this could be a Libra. This could be a Libra and a water sign doing this to you. So some of y'all can have multiple people like playing you. Especially if you're a man, you can have multiple women playing you saying that a child is yours or saying that they're pregnant and they're not. One of these people are pregnant by somebody else. They're pregnant by somebody that they just started fucking with. So th if this water sign female is pregnant, this is somebody that's pregnant by... But this person ain't pregnant though, y'all. This is a lie. Somebody lying to y'all and they're trying to get away with it. They don't feel like you're going to catch them. It's like I could just tell them I'm pregnant and I know I'm not. So I can force them to be in a relationship with me. So y'all got a lot of options that's trying to shade you. That's trying to like dog you out. A lot of you behind your back confuse you. You also got a friend that's going to be revealing something to you. Oh, I, this could be a brother actually. Friend, brother. Who's the king of wands with the moon? Something that they feel you already know. A secret has been exposed to you and they feel like now they got to say something about it. They feel like an air sign told you about it. An air sign man. So if you have a friend that's an air sign man, this is like that person coming to you and exposing a secret to you about your family. We got ten of pentacles. So this could be a secret involving a fire sign in your family. Could be heavy Aries. We got the magician out here. This person want to tell you about a secret that they found out about your family member. This could be somebody telling you about something that's going on between a family member and one like your love interest. The person that you're trying to start fresh with. So the person that you're trying to take on this trip, this is like a friend coming to you and telling you about like your family member and the King of Wands. I'm assuming that this is like your brother or something like that. And we got two of pentacles. This could be like a family member that cheated with somebody you was dealing with. 
They could have cheated with somebody you have a son with. We got the son and it's a little boy on this picture. So this could be somebody that cheated with somebody you have a son with, a child. You and the person you have this child with are not together, but this is the person that you're trying to start fresh with. This person is following you because they feel like you leaving them broke, you leaving them without money, and then now they're going to be the one looking unsuccessful. Now they're going to be the one looking like they don't have shit, and it's like, I can't, I can't allow power one to leave me high and dry like this. Like, I just, I'm going to look broke. They also feel like if you would have confirmed this a long time ago, you would have been stopped fucking with them. This somebody that really didn't want you to know this news. They really felt like this was going to be like the secret of all secrets that would tear the two of y'all apart. It's like if I fucked your, your family member, you definitely going to have like an issue with me or you definitely would never want me anymore. And they right. You don't. You won't want them because a lot of y'all, you didn't. It's like you were trying to like. A lot of y'all knew about this secret. You found out about it, but you could have thought it was a rumor, but it's true. So I'm not going to lie. Like, whoever they slept with in your family could be telling you the truth about it. They could be exposing it to you. Like, yeah, I did sleep with the person you have a child with. Yes, it did happen. They don't want to tell you about it, but they're going to end up saying something. Because they want you to trust them again. So this is like a sibling. It's like, I don't want to lose this person's trust so it's a man that slept with your partner though it's a man that did this or i don't even think this is your partner like i said they slept with somebody i have a kid with because a lot of y'all felt like the relationship with the person you have a child with wasn't gonna work out anyway it's like oh well we ain't gonna really be together we're not gonna really have a relationship and then look y'all we got speaking truth What's hidden is somebody that was involved in the situation. This could be like your brother coming towards you, your friend getting you hooked to something first, and then your brother saying, hey, well, you know, I, I didn't want to keep it from you for this long, but I, I need to tell you right now, yes, I did sleep with the person you have a child with. Yes, I did sleep with your baby mama. Look, y'all, brother brother this is somebody's brother speaking the truth like yes i did sleep with somebody i did sleep with this person they gonna wonder how you found out this person gonna want to know how you know about all this how did the secret get exposed they want to know if your baby mama said something about it if the person you had this child with said something somebody wants to know like who told you did you have a dream about it? How did you all of a sudden find out about this secret when it's been hidden for so long? This person feel like they're going to lose you. This is like a, a brother feeling like if I tell my brother what I did, I'm going to lose them. If I tell my peoples what I did, I'm going to lose them. And I don't want to lose them. They felt like y'all would have found this out a long time ago if you would have dug deep enough. There's somebody who feels like you didn't really pay attention. Your brother, they feel like you didn't really pay attention to this baby mama or this, whoever you had this child with, they feel like you didn't really pay enough attention. If you would have looked deeper or dig deeper, they feel like you would have saw this side of this person and you would have been giving up on this situation. So it's like they've been saw that, saw this about this person, but they feel like you still continue to try to build a relationship with this person. You still continue to have a child with them. Even though all of this shit was going on like behind your back. Somebody could have been sleeping with your, your brother when they was pregnant. This could have been how they got pregnant. And they've been manipulating that for a long time. Somebody has been keeping like this secret for a long, a long time. Like... And they wasn't ready for it to come out. They was going to manipulate the truth as long as they could. They was going to even tell you to stop watching tarot. Um, they was going to try to convince you that tarot is not real. You dreaming. You sleeping. You stupid. Why you listen to that? They listen to tarot too. 
but they listen to tarot to see how they can manipulate you and to see what secrets of theirs are being exposed. So don't ever let nobody tell you that something is not real and something is not stupid, especially when they tune in the fuck in themselves. This is somebody that tunes in faithfully to watch a tarot video. Don't ever let this person convince you of, oh, you're crazy. This ain't real. This ain't going on because it's most definitely going on. And they most definitely keeping a huge secret from you about like sleeping with your fam with your brother, family member. And we got signs and synchronicity. Some of y'all know this. You know how they say don't believe everything you hear? I feel like a lot of y'all have been blocking out the truth for too long. So some of y'all need to hear everything that's being said to you. But you've been blocking out the truth for so long that it's like you've convinced yourself that people are gossiping to you about your the person you have a child with. People gossiping, people lying. Everybody can't be lying on this person. Everybody can't be gossiping. Everybody can't be, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can't be lying. This is somebody that's really like doing you dirty and it's like people trying to expose this to you. But yeah, I feel like it makes you feel weak because it's like, well, if I don't protect this person I have this child with, if I don't stand up for them, it makes me look bad because we had a home together. I love them at one point in time, but you don't understand that they're blocking your life and they are doing it very, very fast. This is somebody that's literally causing blockages in your life and they're speeding it up too. They doing it as fast as they can to end things for you, to fuck up things for you. This person don't even sleep because they be trying to figure out ways to stop you from being happy. And it's like y'all doing everything in y'all power to protect them. And it's like, why? Why? You could have a better life. Some of y'all could have a child with somebody else. You could be, some of y'all may end up having a child with somebody else, like in the wintertime. You may end up finding out that you're getting ready to have a daughter with somebody else. Or a baby with somebody else. That baby could be... Some of y'all can find out the sex of the baby in the wintertime. This could be the other person that you wanted having this baby. Y'all could, if for my men that chose power one, you could be reflecting back on the fact that you treated the other person um, bad. Like the person that was in love with you, you could have, you could be reflecting on the fact that you treated them bad. Like when they were pregnant with your child, some of y'all, they will be pregnant again. But when they were pregnant with your child, the first, the person that you love and the person that loves you. A lot of y'all kept saying that you wasn't the father of their kid. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm not the father. That's not my child. Y'all basically ruined somebody's reputation purposely. And you knew that this person wasn't sleeping with anybody else. So it's like the person that you was in love with, you kind of tarnished their name. You made other people feel like, oh, they sleep around. They're a hoe. They're not attractive. They're this. A lot of y'all tried to make somebody feel extremely bad for like not accepting your, your ways. You won't let me cheat? Bet. I'm going to make you look like a hoe. I'm going to say you unattractive. I'm going to try to make all my, everybody around me think that you ugly. I'm going to try to make everybody around me think that you're you not this, you're not that. This is like a, a man that's trying to manipulate a woman and make them feel less attractive, make them feel unwanted. And it's all like a manipulation tactic. It's all like a, a tactic to bully them. They kept telling the wrong, they kept telling the person that they love, like, this is like a man realizing, like, I really dogged the person out that I love and made them feel like they weren't protected when the whole time the person that I should have been, the person that I was protecting was the one that was doing me dirty this whole entire time. Like, this is them realizing that the person that they have this son with is the one that's been dogging them the whole time. Like, they the ones that's been fucking me over the whole entire time. And I've been trying to help them. I've been trying to be there for them. I've been trying to this. I've been trying to that. And I neglected the person that actually did love me. I neglected the person that I could have actually built a life with. I gave up my chance when I had it. Like you, 
this is you like if you are the man this is you feeling like you scarred somebody just to be spiteful towards them you try to scar this person that you love just because they were successful and they were doing good with their life and it kind of pissed you off it made you jealous of how beautiful this person was how well they was doing um how everything was going so good in their life it broke you it broke you and a part of you knew that you should be gentle towards this person or nice towards them but a lot of y'all kind of like, since you're doing well in life, I'm going to step on you. I'm going to crush you. Because how dare you do well without me? How dare you go with the flow in life? How dare you find your place in life without me? Some of y'all could have even done this to this person while they were having your child. Pregnant with your child for real. A lot of y'all could be reflecting back on, like, on a situation with the person that you do love and feeling like you should have treated them better. A lot of y'all kind of like sort of, you, you, I'm not going to say sort of, a lot of y'all disrespected this person a lot. You disrespected this person bad. Even started a rumor that they didn't know who, who the child, who the father of their child was when they were pregnant. So this is like one of them situations where say if you are in love with somebody and say if you and this person were getting ready to have a child with each other and they had a miscarriage or whatever the case may be you are bringing up a situation from the past you taking a miscarriage and you taking the story that they lived and went through and it's like you are turning it into more pain for them you turn it in you turn it in, it into more heartbreak for them by lying about something that already happened by making them look like the villain when you know they're not so this is like you saying that, oh, well, when they was pregnant, it wasn't really my baby. They slept around. They did this. They did that. I feel like y'all are trying to put something on the person that you love that actually happened to you. Yes, it happened to you. Yes, somebody lied to you about being pregnant. Yes, somebody lied to you about being pregnant and the child wasn't yours. But it wasn't the person that you love i feel like some of y'all are blaming the person that you love for something that other people did to you and you hurting this person and trying to destroy their image even more and it's like why why because they're not communicating with you this is why they're not communicating with you why would somebody work so hard to be around somebody that they know is like doing everything in their power to destroy them out of jealousy if somebody loved you unconditionally you don't take that love and stump on it and say well i know i didn't love you the right way but since you left me i'm gonna do you dirtier i know i didn't love you the right way but since you left me i'm gonna let people talk shit about you i know i didn't love you the right way but since you left me i'm gonna lie about something that i know was tragic for you something that i know was heartbreaking for you and i'm gonna take that story and i'm gonna fuck it all the way up and i'm gonna make it seem like i was never a part of it which y'all know y'all were so this is like a man denying like being the father of a child that he know he was the father of and it's like him finding out that the person he already has a child with his current baby mama um if that person is pregnant again this is like a man saying okay well this one is my baby and they know it's not their baby but they want to make this person look good and make the other person look like the cheater make the other person look like they had secrets or they had something to expose which was a complete lie so yeah this is like somebody being a jackass and trying to protect the wrong person this could be this is y'all like the protecting the wrong person i'm not gonna lie so I'm going to get the advice, pile one, and then I'm moving on to pile two. What's the advice for pile one? Y'all need to stop living your life for other people. Some of y'all, you are loving on the wrong person because you are scared to love the right person. You are one of those people that live for other people. You live for other people's opinions. You live for how other people will feel about the moves that you make or how other people feel about what you do. So this is like y'all going to people in y'all life, family, friends. What should I do? Should I choose this person? Should I choose this person? Should I do this? Should I do that? 
It's like a lot of y'all live y'all lives based on other people's opinions. What other people tell you to do, that's what you do with your life. That's the move you make with your life. And a lot of y'all not realizing that you made a lot of wrong turns in your life by listening to the wrong people. You need to start listening to yourself and you need to start doing what you already know you should do. A lot of y'all be knowing the right thing to do and you will still do the wrong thing, expecting shit to turn out in your favor. Oh, I'm going to do the wrong thing, but I expect the, whoever it is that I'm hurting to forgive me. I expect them to forgive me. They don't have to forgive you. A person don't have to do nothing. A person don't have to forgive you. A person don't have to keep you in their life, especially if you don't care nothing about doing right by them. Some of y'all are hurting somebody for entertainment, your own entertainment. You lying on somebody for your own entertainment and you know it's wrong. So, and I feel like a lot of y'all may be doing this because you may be worried about what people say. For one, you got to get that out of your, your thought process and stop worrying about what other people going to say about the decisions that you make. Be with who you want to be with without caring about who going to judge you for it, for one. Secondly, you owe no loyalty to exes. You, if you're not with your baby mama, if you're not with your baby daddy, you owe them no loyalty. You owe them no loyalty. No, you don't have to talk to them. No, you don't have to do what they say. If they want me to leave my person on red, I got to leave my person on red because my baby mama, my baby daddy said so. Fuck your baby mama and fuck your baby daddy. Okay? Fuck them. You better start telling that bitch or that hoe to shut up. Whoever they are, they don't control you. And some of y'all allow the wrong person to control you and manipulate you and to take over your life. And you just sit back and let it happen. Why would you continue to let a person dog you out when you could be treated well? Don't cling so hard to toxic toxicity that you see that as what's fun in your life. A, a healthy life is a fun life. A toxic life is a life that ends with tragedy and heartbreaks. Do you really want to go through that? If tragedy and heartbreaks is fun to you, by all means, continue to act the way that you act in and continue to do what you do. Nobody's going to judge you for that. If you want peace in your life, you want happiness, you want an exciting life with somebody you actually love, then you got to go in a different direction. You got to go down the opposite road. You cannot have it both ways. You cannot make both paths collide with each other. You cannot make both roads collide with each other. It's either you go one way or the other. Y'all got to make a choice when it comes to your life. And it's like, honestly, some of y'all time may be up because it's like you keep leaving the wrong person hanging. You keep mistreating the wrong person. And honestly, nothing is going to come out of it. A lot of y'all going to end up sad and you're going to end up receiving instant karma because of how bad you treated another person. And because of the fact that and because of the fact that you chased the wrong thing. So I'm letting you know, like. It's something is serious now. This is like your ancestors stepping in. This is like your God stepping in. This is like God stepping in. If you mistreat the blessings that I give you, I'm going to show you what it's like to live a life without blessings. That's what this is. It's like judgment day. You are in control of your life. You are able to make the decision that you want to make for yourself. But whatever road you choose, it leads you down a dark. It leads you down a path. One of them leads you down a dark path. The other one leads you down a path full of happiness and bliss. So it's like you either got to accept God's blessing or you get a whole lot of bullshit that comes along. If you throw these blessings away, it's like you get bullshit after it. You get instant karma for something. You get something back 10 times strong. And for a lot of y'all, I feel like y'all going to be going in the wrong direction. You're going to choose. You're going to choose what's not for you. You're going to go down a road that you're not meant to go down, and it's going to, like, backfire. You're going to end up running from this person really, really quick, and you're definitely going to end up not happy. Because the person that you're running off to, they plan you in a lot of different ways, and a lot of y'all already know what they're doing to you. A lot of y'all didn't fuck with somebody you work with. We got workplace affair. They could have fucked the, somebody. They could have fucked somebody you work with. They could have also had sex with a family member of yours and a friend. There's somebody that slept with a lot of people that you know, and you're gonna end up having to detach from this person and the people that they slept with, because this is somebody that slept with so many people around you that it's hard for you to even show your face. It's hard for you to even go around all of these people now because it's like, damn. You really, you really living like that. You really moving like that. If you don't want to be wrapped up and embarrassed with this person when they get exposed for being a hoe, 
you need to back yourself all the way out of this situation because some of y'all are getting wrapped up into something because you don't want to release this person that's doing you wrong. You don't want to release this person that's dogging you out because you feel like it's fun. If you don't want to be embarrassed with this person, y'all need to back away from this situation. A lot of y'all don't miss this person. You don't even forgive them, but some of y'all are not working right now or you only work one job and you feel like you don't have enough to occupy your time. So it's like when you're bored and you're getting bad news, you you running up. They always show backup plan. You need to stop looking for a backup plan if you plan on living a full, happy life. And just do right in the life that you're trying to build. That's what I got for y'all though, Pal 1. Thank you for watching. Pal 2. Pal 2, y'all coming in at 5531. I'm here. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I ain't surprised. So whatever you're getting ready to hear, I feel like it's not going to be surprising to you. Some of y'all already know something. Or you already have an intuitive feeling about something. What's this for Pal 2? Water signs. Somebody at their neighbor house right now. Some of y'all, you don't know how to catch somebody doing something. Some of y'all are trying to figure out how to catch somebody up or you trying to figure out how to figure out the things that they doing behind the scenes or behind closed doors. Some of y'all, this could be your baby mama or your baby daddy. This is somebody you have a child with that is like sleeping with a neighbor or fucking with a neighbor, or going out with a neighbor, but they don't want you to know. There's somebody that's really trying to keep this from you. They want you to think that them and that person have no interactions with each other, but they with that person now. This could even be somebody that spent the night with them. A lot of y'all called them too. We got the call and they answered. There's somebody that answered the call while they was at their neighbor house. They could have been watching movies with this person. Some of y'all even pulled up at somebody's house looking for them. And you asking, you asking their mama like where they at. This could be somebody that live with their parents. They live with their mama and their daddy. Or they just live with their mama. And you asking this person like where is um so-and-so, so-and-so. You asking their mother this. And whoever their mother is, they lying to you about where this person is at. Somebody gonna lie to y'all about something. Where another person is at. So if they, if you call... If you call the person you have a child with, you call their mother or you um you stop at their house and you notice that they they not there, it's because they next door. Or they done went out on a date with the neighbor, they fucking the neighbor, or they doing something with the neighbor around the time where you pull up. So if this is you like dropping your kid back off or and you looking for the, the mama or the daddy to have a conversation with them, they out. <laughs> they out with the neighbor, they mama looking for them, they mama like, where where are you at? Cause I'm trying to drop your child, you know, where you at? Cause your baby daddy or your baby mama just dropped the child off. Like, where you at? We got nature. If I'm talking to a man, this is like them, this is like the other parent, your baby mama stays with their with their mother. They stay with their mama. They stay with family. They stay with a relative. And it's like when y'all drop your kid off, they not going to be nowhere to be found. And it's honestly because they out fucking on a neighbor. They out fucking on somebody that live like close to them. And they mother don't even know where they at. They calling this person like, okay, well, you know, pal two, just drop your son off. Or pal two, just drop your daughter off. Where you at? Like, they just drop the kid off. Like, where you at? You going to come home to get the kid? Yeah, family. Somebody stays with family. And they asking this person, like, you gonna come home and get the kids? Like, where are you at? You act like you don't even have no kids. 
this is like somebody what's hidden what's happening behind the scenes is like uh the person you have a child with your baby mama i'm gonna say baby mama but baby mama baby daddy whatever whoever this person is that you have a child with whether you're a man or a woman what's going on behind the scenes is they're getting into it with the people that they stay with they getting into it with their mama they getting into it with their family they getting into it with whoever they stay with because the person that they stay with feels like this person don't never want to watch their kids they act like they don't have a child they always run in the streets they always out doing something and it's never involving their child somebody could even be like what's the call This somebody has an STD too. They have an STD or some type of sickness and they still out like fucking on people. They still out doing doing shit. And we got dinner. Yeah, this somebody that's going on a whole little date with the neighbor and they, they trying to make sure you don't pull up. They trying to make sure you don't see them. So this could even be the type of person where they're watching you. Like if you drop the child off and, and you was texting a phone, like I'm outside or I'm here, like where you at? They was watching you. So somebody is watching you from like a neighbor's house. They are fucking with their neighbor. Somebody is fucking with their neighbor. And they was definitely, they wasn't at home, but they was in the area. They was close where that, to the point where they was able to see your car. They was able to see you pull up to their family house. They was able to see you pull up to their mama house. And they watched you drop your, your kid off and they watched you leave. And as soon as you left... They mama called them. Whoever has the child, this person called them. Like, where are you at? Why are you trying to get away with, like, you're not going to escape this. You're not going to leave your child with me. Like, you're not going to dump dump your kid off on me and do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like, no. So, whoever this is, they feel like they slick. They don't want to watch their kids. So, this is somebody that's a bad mother. A bad mother. A bad parent. They don't want to watch their kids. And this is like a mother that's like, no. Bro, no, I'm not doing this no more. You're not going to get out of this. If you want to get outside, if you want to go fuck on the neighbor, take your child with you. Because this is somebody that feels like all they, all they child do, like all they daughter do, whoever you have a kid with, all my daughter do or all my son do is go outside and have sex. All they do is fuck. That's it. Somebody is feeling like their kid is hot. But this is a grown person, though. Whoever you have a child with, they parents looking at them or they mama looking at them like my daughter is hot in the fucking pants or my son is hot in the fucking pants. All she want to do is go go out and fuck on people. And that's how she ended up pregnant. And that's why she pregnant now. This is like somebody going off, getting gone off on in the background. That's what y'all don't know. This is what's happening behind the scenes. Like whoever you have a child with, they're getting gone off on by their family member. And this family member is like telling them the truth about themselves or like setting them straight, telling them like all you do is just fuck. That's it. Like go out here and get pregnant and make babies. And for what? They telling this person to stop sleeping around, stop dealing with so many people. And then we got friendship. This person could have even slept with one of y'all friends. They could be sleeping with a lot of people and calling them friends too. And this is like their mama catching on to this and like, come on now. They looking their daughter dead in the face or they looking their son. I'm going to say daughter because I see a woman out here. But you can switch it if you need to. Like if, if this your baby daddy doing this to you. But this is like somebody looking their daughter dead in the face. Like my child ain't shit or my child is like, they not going to ever learn. They not going to ever learn that they're that they tripping, that they need to stop acting this way, behaving this way. What's fertility? Yeah, this is like a mother going off on somebody. If this person is pregnant right now, uh, your child's mother or your child's father, I'm going to say child's mother. If your baby mama pregnant right now, this is like they mama or if your baby daddy got somebody else pregnant. This is like they mama looking at the situation like that's all you do is go outside and fuck. You don't wear no protection. You don't do this. You don't do that. You don't this. You don't that. Somebody is going in on this person. You don't have no. And if this is, a, this is like a woman, like somebody, this like your baby mama. This is like their mother telling them, like, you don't have no business being pregnant again. 
You don't have no business going out here making another baby. Like, I don't know what the fuck you smoking. Like, you tripping. You don't have no house. You don't have shit to your name. You don't have no respect for my house. So this could be somebody that feels like they daughter don't have respect for their house. This could be somebody that has sex in the house. Um, and they still not turning their back on this person. But it's like, no, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not doing this no more. I'm not lying. This could even be somebody that felt like they mother could have felt like they had to lie to you. I'm not lying for you no more. If pal two come over and ask where you at, I'm going to let they ass know that you were one of your motherfucking men or you were one of your motherfucking women. I'm not doing this shit no more. You're not going to use me to be a part of your game. So maybe y'all trying to date this baby mama or baby daddy again. And they mama know that this person is like planning to like run off, planning to detach, but they trying to find them another candidate first. They trying to find them another man first to fill your place. To fill your spot or another woman. This somebody is trying to find a replacement for you before they leave you. And they mother know that they know that. And it's like they they didn't say nothing about it. They ain't say nothing about it because they didn't want to they didn't want to get wrapped up into they they child bullshit. But it's like, you know what? On second thought, I'm not gonna let you hurt pal too. Cause I honestly feel like what you're doing is foul as fuck. I honestly feel like you don't need to be trying to lie to nobody about shit. And you are really good at lying. They feel like their child is really good at lying. They really good at confusing people. They really good at bluffing. Um, and they feel like they tired of this person acting this way or behaving this way. They feel like this person is not happy, not a happy individual. This person is very mean or very miserable. Yeah, and they feel like all this person do is walk around um, pouting all day, walk around with a stank face, walk around like they hate everybody, walk around with an attitude, and they tired of this shit. They was trying to help this person heal from like an ending or a breakup, but they can see now that this person don't give a fuck about the ending, they don't give a fuck about the breakup. They feel like all this person gives a fuck about is like rejecting rejecting you possibly power too so if this is like you giving a person another chance this is like they mama feeling like well the only reason why they trying to fuck with power too is because they want to reject power too they want to make power too feel some type of way and honestly i don't want to see that happen no more this is somebody mother saying like i know my child ain't in love with you i know they don't love you they just want to hurt you and they want you to go through multiple endings in your life that's it. That's all it is to it. They want you to run. So somebody mama may be trying to get you hip to something. The person you have a child with, they mama may be trying to get you hip to something. Some of y'all, this could be involving like a child. If this person that they, if they child is pregnant again. So say if your baby mama or your baby daddy has another baby on the way. This is like they mama saying to they self i'm not gonna let you play pal two that ain't pal two baby and i'm not even gonna let you tell that lie i'm not even gonna go along with this lie i'm not even gonna put up with this shit i'm cool i'm not doing that so if they know their daughter trying to lie to you or their son trying to lie to you and say oh if this is a woman like that your baby mama if they know they if, if they know your baby mama trying to lie to you and say that the child is yours this is like their mama saying no honey we're not doing that you know that's wrong you know you don't need to do that if it's not their child it's not their child if you are a woman and this is like your baby daddy somebody you've been pregnant by before this is their mother saying like like the, your baby daddy could be trying to tell their mama to like lie for them Tell them that that's my, my little cousin. Tell them that that's my, my niece. But that's really their daughter. That's really they, they son. That's really they this. You know, somebody could be lying about something. And it's because they don't want to be with the person that they really lying to. So, if you a man and it's somebody, a woman lying to you about another child being yours, they're lying to you. They're lying to you for real. But they don't want anything out of this. This is like somebody that don't want to build a family with you. They don't want to build a life with you. They just want you to be obsessed over them. They just want you to be stuck in your head when it comes to them. 
but they feel like y'all truthfully were never a family. Y'all truthfully never had anything real with each other. And they honestly thought that since you found the person that you really want to be with in your life, that you would change. It's like, well, you found the one for you, so ain't no need for me no more. So this person felt like you wouldn't need them no more. And it's like they weren't affecting your emotions anymore. So they was kind of like getting ready to focus on themselves. But they feel like, oh, well, how to want me now? Maybe they praying for me. Maybe they want something serious with me. Maybe they want to mend the, mend the relationship. So I'm going to try to act like I want it too. But they really don't. Some of y'all, this could be like them feeling like you trying to get their attention on social media. Some of y'all could be on social media real late at night. You could be writing on social media how you can't sleep or you struggling getting sleep or you got somebody on your mind or you thinking about this, you thinking hard. Y'all are talking about another person in your post. So this is like you posting stuff on Instagram or Facebook about somebody and they feel like you talking about them. Oh, well, since pal two, pal two want me back, so let me go back because they must miss me. But it ain't them that you're missing. It's somebody else that you're missing. It's somebody else that you're losing sleep over and wanting to start over with. But this person feels like, oh, well, since they missed the other person, let me go back around them and let me try to make them think that I want them. But honestly, it's it's just about money for them. It's, a, it's about money for this person. This is somebody that's stressed out about their financial situation and they get off on stressing you out. This is somebody that gets off on um, throwing it in your face that they don't care about you or that they don't miss you after they stress you out and borrow all type of money from you. Get all type of money out of you. Then that's when they tell you that they don't want nothing to do with you. They ain't fucking with you like that. But they feel like you are past this. You over this. But you still won't turn your back on them. They feel like you still allowing them to cross the line, you know, in your life. You still allowing them to come around. Some of y'all, you ain't sleeping with them right now. But it's like, they wouldn't be surprised if you did pick them back up. If you did start sleeping with them again. They wouldn't be surprised if you will. This is like somebody that's like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Pal 2 will let me fuck with them again. I could come back whenever I want to come back as long as I lie to them. So there's somebody that know they have you under their thumb. They know they can manipulate you. They know they can tell you whatever to get you to come back into their life. Yep. And we got on and off, hot and cold, detached. There's somebody that feels like all they got to do is lie to you every time they come around. And that's all it takes for you to like cut off the other person that you in love with. But they feel like you be letting this person go, but you never reject this other person. It's like, okay, well, how to cut the other person off for me, but they still trying to, they still watching them on social media. So they must still be attracted to them. They must think they prettier than me. They must think that they look better than me. They must think that they this, they must think that they that. Because why haven't they fully rejected the other person? It's like, if I stop these two from getting married, if I stop them from wanting to marry the other person or from wanting to be with the other person, why is this other person not fully out of their life? Why is this other person still around? Why is this other person still one of their options? A lot of y'all, they want you to deal with other options. It's like you can have anybody else but the person that I said you can't be with. You can have anybody else but the person that you love. Like, you can fuck around with any option but the person you love. This is somebody that will even tell you, like, I'll be in a relationship with you. And it could be an open relationship. Like, you can do what you want to do. I could do what I want to do. Like, we ain't got to get married. We could just say that we're together. Um, and I promise I'll let you have your freedom. I promise I'll let you deal with other options. But... It's this one person that if you go back to, they gonna flip their fucking lid. And the only reason why they keeping themselves in your life is because they don't want you to be with the other person. I'm gonna keep myself in the middle. I'm gonna keep myself around. I'm gonna make myself available for sex anytime they want it. Because if I do that, then they're not gonna want the person that they love. They don't care about this little arrangement that y'all got either. There's somebody that's like, I... I don't care about the arrangement we got. I did this to make um, Pal 2 feel like a man. 
I did this to make Pow 2 feel like a woman and to let them have their way. So I don't really care about our arrangement. Um, yes, I feel single. Yes, I feel like they doing me each and every way that they can. Because Pow 2, they feel like you run off and you fall in love with different people. Or you run off and you start putting more time and attention and effort into the other people instead of them. So it's like, yeah, I'm letting you do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm letting you have your way. That was our arrangement. That was our, our agreement. But I thought you would at least miss me. I thought you would at least want me or come back to me. They felt like them giving you freedom equaled them having open access to you. Them having your heart. Them having this. Them having that. But they never had your heart to begin with. So this is why it's so hard for this person to hold on to you. They want you to miss them. They want you to see them as the fun person. They want you to see them as the one that doesn't need to be out of your life. But you see this person as somebody that's drama filled. They start a lot of bullshit. Um, a lot of y'all feel like they old news, but you haven't left yet. Some of y'all feel like they old news. You just can't get away from them. You just, they. They won't let you be quiet. They won't let you go silent. Some of y'all, you feel like you have no choice but to like deal with them. A lot of y'all even know that you sabotage in certain situations in your life because of this person. But it's like you still don't speak up. You still allow them to get away with it. You still don't escape them. So it's like you just sitting back allowing them to like ruin things for you. But a lot of y'all feel like you're really doing this to yourself because... You accepting the lies that they tell you. Every time they come back into your life, they have a new lie for you. And you feel like you constantly accepting these lies. And it's like, why am I doing this? Some of y'all got a bad feeling about this person. So you could be following them. And you could be finding out exactly what, you was, what was hidden from you. Some of y'all going to get in the car and you're going to be intending to like follow your twin flame or follow the person that you're in love with. So it's like some of y'all going to feel like, oh, I'm going to go see the person that I'm in love with. Fuck it, I'm going to pop up at their house. And then somehow you end up in the other area. You end up by the person that's doing you wrong. You end up by their home. And it's like y'all just happen to pass by and see exactly what you're supposed to see. What you didn't understand, whatever was hidden in the dark is getting ready to come come to light. What you didn't understand, how you felt you could never catch this person on nothing. It's like, I can't never catch them doing nothing. I can't never catch them this, 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 and that. And I know they dogging me. I know they doing this. Um, y'all gonna realize why you and this person wasn't on the same page from the get-go. A lot of y'all may feel unappreciated. But you're going to end up cutting this situation off. You're going to end up saying goodbye. And a lot of y'all are going to stop sleeping with them too. No romance, no love, no none of that. A lot of y'all will start to understand that this person is not the one. And you better off being in a relationship with the person that is. Um, also, be glad that this person wasn't able to trap you again. Because you really wouldn't, want, wouldn't have wanted any strings attached with them anyway. And a lot of y'all, if you would have trapped them, you would have never got the other person back that you want to be with. So this is like you needed to make the best decisions and stop being so reckless with your moves. Because if you end up like, some of y'all need to watch who you sleeping with or don't sleep with nobody else at all. Because the person that you in love with, you will not be able to get them back. That's something that you won't come back from. Like you making kids or other people, y'all ain't going to be able to come back from that. And a lot of y'all sleep around with people that you really don't love. And you keep that from the person that you do love. Because it's like if they know. Some of y'all lie to this person about watching readings too. You lie to them about watching readings. And you feel like the, re the reason why you do that is because you don't want them to be fed up with you. You don't want them to be upset with you. You don't want them to be mad. And a lot of y'all know that the things that they... Um, Say if your person watch readings too and they confront you on everything that they've saw or they confront you. If they are a tarot reader, this could be somebody that does readings. They're very intuitive. They're very smart. Um, the things that they say come to, tr come to pass. Like this is somebody where their predictions come true. And this is somebody that tried to talk to you about something or they tried to warn you. But they feel like you are 
constantly pushing them away or you are constantly somebody is trying to protect you this is what this is somebody trying to protect you and instead of you accepting the protection what you're doing is i don't watch readings that shit fake that's this that's that but you know that something is the truth and you know that everything that this person is saying to you is the truth a lot of y'all don't want to admit to it being the truth because you don't want to look like the bad guy you don't want to be the villain and you don't want this person to like look at you funny it's like i already know they mad at me and if i tell them that everything that they said in them readings was true then this person gonna hate me for the rest of their life this person on this this person on that but imagine this this person feels the way that they feel towards you because of the fact that you won't tell the truth so this is like y'all feel like you are doing doing this person a justice by you doing doing them some good by protecting their feelings and keeping the truth from them making them feel like the things that they watch and read is just a lie or they're crazy um for believing something that's actually taking place y'all are the ones that's in the wrong for that because if you really love this person you wouldn't want to try to make them believe that they're crazy for knowing the truth about something that you did behind closed doors you are hurting somebody worse by trying to make them feel like a fool for something that they already know is real and true if you want to get the person you love back, I'm telling you, you losing them even more because you won't admit the truth to them and y'all don't want to take accountability. This is like you trying to cover your own ass and saying that readings are not real, this, 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 and that. But what if the person that, you know, you dogging them out for is doing you the same way? Every time you find out something about them in a reading, about the person you have this child with in a reading, they tell you, oh, this ain't this, this ain't that. We ain't doing this. We ain't doing that. Like, that's a lie. Readings are fake. Stop watching that shit. But everything was, everything that was said was true. Y'all could have somebody gaslighting you. And it's like you get, you try to gaslight the person. The person that you love because you believe the person that's lying to you. Truths. You believe that the person that's lying to you is telling you the truth. And you believe that the person that's telling you the truth is lying to you. And that's because one of these people, all they feel they have to do to convince you is tell you, oh, that reading ain't real. That's a lie. I do love you. I do want this. I do want that. Somebody feel like they can tell you anything and you'll soak it right up. And that's what's being hidden, how to. Some type of drama is coming to an end because the person that was keeping all of the secrets and the person that was trying their hardest to manipulate you emotionally is getting ready to get like um something getting ready to backfire on them they're getting ready to get exposed for a lot of shit and you getting ready to realize like who who was the one all along who was my wifey all along who was my husband all along like, who was the person for me all along? I should have known that it was them. Some of y'all is going to realize, like, the one. And this may even be you realizing that you kind of, like, shitted on the wrong person's name. And now it's a lot of people that's exposing the wrong person. To, like, it's, it's a lot of people that's exposing, like, the person that was supposed to have been exposed. Like I said, how whoever this is y'all have a child with, they mama exposing the truth to you this is like a lot of people coming to you and telling you the truth about a person that you have a child with they mama starting to tell on them they friends telling on them um your friends telling on them your brother telling on them it's a lot of people telling on one person and it's because this one person has manipulated you for so long and it's like they it's people around them that's tired of like covering for this person it's people around them that's tired of like upholding this image for them like, this is a woman that's feeling like, oh, I got the perfect image. I'm the perfect mother. I'm the perfect this. I'm the perfect that. But they really not. This is somebody that never have their kids. They don't take care of their kids. They don't even make sure their kids are okay if they good. This is somebody that don't give a fuck about being around their kids. They are a bad mother. They'll spend more money on themselves. Like, this is the type of person that will... Um, They'll spend money to get their hair done. They'll spend money on a new outfit for them. But their kid hair ain't been done in weeks. Um, their kid haven't had new clothes in weeks. 
they haven't dressed this child right. Somebody don't take good care of their kid. They don't even make sure their kid um, ass is white. But this is the type of person that'll like spray on some spray on some perfume and walk outside and try to find them a new man, try to attract them a new man or a new woman. They could even have bad hygiene. This could be somebody that has bad hygiene on top of them sleeping around. So it's like not only do they sleep around, it's like they don't take proper baths. They don't take proper baths. They don't, they don't, it's a lot of shit that this person don't really do to like take care of themselves. Like I said, this is somebody that possibly just spray on perfume and walk out the door, literally. And they see, they try to see if they can test you, even though they know they've done so, so much wrong to you. There's somebody that's like, yeah, I know I fuck with your friend. I know I tested you. I know I tested you by fucking your family member or by doing this, by doing that. But you still gonna fuck me. So what, what difference do it make? It doesn't matter. There's somebody that feels like they can do whatever they want to you. They could come in and out of your life and do whatever they want to you because they feel like you're gonna allow them to do it. Because they pregnant. Some of y'all, they pregnant. And it's like, oh, well, pal two will let me do whatever how to let me do whatever to them because I'm pregnant. They ain't going to put their hands on me. They ain't going to say nothing to me. They ain't going to this. They ain't going to that. I'm their baby mama. I'm their baby daddy. What can they say? There's somebody that feels like they have like, they have you by the balls. There's somebody that feels like they could just treat you however they want to treat you and you still going to come running back. This could be a Libra, a Taurus, an Aquarius. If somebody feel like they could do whatever and they feel like you still gonna pay their bills, you still gonna help them, you still gonna break bread with them, you gonna give your you gonna give them more than you gonna give your person. You gonna keep trying to, you know, see if you could take care of both of these people, but they gonna get majority. They feel like you are gonna keep rejecting the person that you know is the one for you. And they feel like they could keep forcing you to do that. And you will never find out and you'll never stop them from doing it. So, y'all got somebody in y'all life that you really need to pull away from. Um, a lot of y'all may be, like, overlooking the shit and allowing it to happen. This could be a Virgo as well. A lot of y'all may be overlooking the shit and allowing this person to, like, play with you and to fuck up certain shit for you in your life. And you honestly do not need to do that, okay? Because whoever this is, they are no good. Damn. Okay. The truth about somebody around you is getting exposed. Could be someone you have a child with. And this could be like the lovers that they're sleeping with that's being exposed. But it's being exposed by people close to them. People that they care about that's kind of like tired of sticking up for them. They're tired of like protecting this person's image. Because this is like people around this person is like, you a bad mother and you just don't give a fuck about that. Like, you don't give a fuck about trying to be a better person for your child. You don't give a fuck about trying to put, like, your your child before these men or before these women. This is like people looking at this person like, you put a man or a woman before your child all the time. I feel like this is a woman doing this. So, this is like people looking at this person like, you put men before your child. And that's not okay. That's not cute. You put going out and fucking before your child, and that's not cute. Ain't shit cool about that. So, somebody is being exposed for being a trifling mother. Or a deadbeat mother. Um, what's the advice for pal two? If you're confused... 
about a pregnancy or about somebody lying to you about a pregnancy. Yes, they're lying to you. If somebody is telling you they're pregnant right now, it's a lie. Somebody is faking a DNA test behind the scenes. Somebody could be pregnant and they lying about who the father is. Like I said in the beginning of the reading, y'all, this, this goes back to that. It ties back to what I said at the beginning of the reading. Somebody, if you have a child with someone and they are pregnant again, this is like the mother, their mother saying, you're not finna lie to pal two about this child being theirs because it's not. That's not their child. You know it's not their baby. So don't be that ignorant and try to slow their life down. This is a situation like that. Like their parents telling them, don't try to force somebody to celebrate something with you. And you know the complete celebration is a lie. So yeah, this is you finding out about like somebody lying to you as well. A DNA test could be coming back or somebody could already have a DNA test with the, with the results of who the father is who the baby belongs to, and they don't want to tell you that it's not your child. Um, for my women, this is like a man that either has a child on the way and somebody is lying about the child being theirs, or this person is kind of like, uh, or that for some of y'all, like if you're a woman, this is like somebody, the man trying to confuse you. I feel like it's opposite for the women. If you are a woman, this is like a man trying to confuse you and tell you that a child is not theirs, but the child is theirs. This is somebody lying to you about a DNA test result, and they don't want you to find out like the actual results of the DNA test. But it's like they could be trying to have their mama or their family cover for them or lie for them. And these people are like, no, I'm not going to lie for you because you shouldn't have been moving reckless like that. You shouldn't have made that decision. You should have like put a condom on or never did it at all so it's like no i'm not doing this i'm not lying for you that's your that's your baby whatever it's it's different if you a woman this is what this man is experiencing they're experiencing a situation where the child is theirs but they're trying to get out of it um Or if they have a baby, or like if they have a child already, if you're dealing with a man, if you're a woman and you're dealing with a man that has like a child already and they baby mama saying that they pregnant again by them, it's they're lying about that. That baby is not theirs. Now, that child is not theirs. Now, others of y'all, this could be them feeling like they got somebody else pregnant. This could be them feeling like they got somebody else pregnant, but it's like, I don't know. Maybe this person ain't really pregnant for real. They haven't said anything to me. This could be somebody that's drinking heavily to figure out what's going on with the other person. Because it's two different stories for some of y'all, and you'll know which side of the coin you own. For some of y'all, this is like a man that actually wants to have like a baby with the other person. They want to have a baby with whoever this is. And they're like wondering, like, is the person pregnant or not? Are they lying? Are they pregnant? I don't feel like somebody has came to them and told them that they were technically pregnant. This is like a man that's hoping that somebody is pregnant with their baby. But this is somebody that they love, somebody that they want to be with, somebody that they feel they may have ghosted first, but they didn't feel that this person would reject them. But they did. Others of y'all, this is like, if you're a woman, this is like a man feeling like the baby's mine or the baby's mine if they had like i said it's two different scenarios here somebody could be having like a baby mama that's trying to play them and say that a child that they're having is theirs but that child is not theirs whoever is pregnant again that child is not theirs if you are a woman um but they also do have another person that they do love and that they want a baby with. So this could be like two scenarios going on with the same person. Like they may be happy that another child is not theirs, but this is a man that's trying to create a baby with another person because they do want that person and they do want to be with that person. So be careful of that. Um, if you are a man, this is like 
a woman that you already have a child with saying that they're pregnant by you, but they've already received DNA test results saying that it's not your baby. And they're trying to confuse you and make you think that it is your child, that it is your child when they know it's not. Because they don't want to be rejected by you. And they feel like they have to leave you hanging or leave you on red to make you think that to make you think that they still want to be with you. Somebody has a whole little sneaky plot and it's not really working out the way that they expected it to because because they can't alter them DNA test results. Um, you may also, for my men, I feel like y'all got a lot going on. You may also have someone else that is lying to you about a pregnancy completely, saying that they're pregnant with your child, but it's not. they're not pregnant at all. We got fake news, pregnancy, so they're not pregnant at, at all. So if somebody has came to you and said, hey, I'm having a baby, they're not even having a baby. Like somebody's lying about being pregnant. They just want you to like feel some type of way. They want you to be in your head. They want you to regret the situation. They want you to regret keeping secrets. So this is like a scorned woman that was sleeping with you and feeling like, okay, well, if you're going to continue to keep me a secret, you're going to continue to make it seem like you're not dealing with me cool i'm gonna lie to you about being pregnant um just so i can force you to love me again just so i can force you to want me again they know they're crossing a line though there's somebody that's going to have to reflect on what they're doing because they know they're crossing a, a line with you and they know that you're going to leave them hanging the moment that they tell you this the moment that they say they're pregnant, they know you're going to run away. You're not going to fuck with them. But they feel like if you are dealing with somebody that has spiritual gifts, say if you're dealing with somebody and they are a spiritualist, they do tarot or whatever the case may be, this is somebody feeling like, well, I can get away with this lie because you don't even believe in your person's gifts. You don't even believe that they, that they really are a spiritualist. You don't even believe that... Even though their predictions come true, you don't even believe that what they're doing is real. You be shitting on them or you be shitting on what they do for a living. So if you don't believe what they do, why would you believe them if they tell you that I'm not really pregnant? This somebody that has like a plot in their mind. It's like since you don't believe in the person that has these gifts or since you don't believe in your own intuitive intuition, I could play you. I could play with you. I can manipulate you. This is how somebody is looking at the situation. And they feel like as long as you're not talking to this person that you that has these spiritual gifts, they could get away with anything. Or they feel like as long as you're not listening to your own intuition, they could get away with anything. And this is somebody that's definitely lying to you about being pregnant because they want you to have feelings for them. And they also want to like cook up some drama. And it's like they want to expose themselves to the person that they know you love. I want this person to know that you slept with me. I want them to feel like you cheated with me. I want them to know that you be playing games. And by me saying that I'm going to be, by me saying that I'm pregnant, they going to think that you betrayed them really, really bad. And hopefully this will make them go away and it'll keep me in the picture. But they feel like you are still like not giving them another chance. You still fucking with the other person. And they just don't know what the status is between you and that other person. Are you still wanting to be with this person? Do you want to marry them? Because a part of them feels like you care nothing about the, the other person. They feel like the other person is just a third party in your life. And they feel like you just don't want to let the person go. But the only reason why they're around is because you... A lot of, of y'all, the only reason why they in your life is because you want to party and have a good time. You only drink with this person. You don't really want shit with them other than that or outside of that. They want you to treat the other person like a hoe. They want you to start talking bad about the other person because you're under pressure. They know that they a hoe. This could be somebody to sleep around too. But they want you to talk bad about the other person while you're under pressure. If they tell you that they're getting ready to have a baby, they feel like you're going to come to them and start, like, I don't know, confiding in them about the other person. And they kind of want to, like, get some type of 
information to use against the other person. There's somebody that wants to rope you back into a toxic cycle. I want to stop the person that you're in love with. I want to try to get at them. But I feel like in order for me to do that, I got to lie and say I'm pregnant. And I got to see if I could try to get to the other person and see if they see the news. So there's somebody that's posting shit on social media because they want the person that you love to see it. But they feel like this person don't really care about them. This person ain't really watching a page. They feel like this person don't really give a fuck about nothing that they got going on. And it's like, damn, this is straight real. Like, it's possible that I got ditched. Like, some of y'all already ditched this person or you already ghosted them. And it's like, damn, I got played. I got left for the other person. They feel like you left them to go be with um the person that you was at a distance from. The person that you do love. It's like, damn, you really left me behind to be with them? Must be too late. So now they're not happy because they plan failed. There's somebody that's like, I thought that I thought this would like keep you busy if I told you that I was pregnant. Now you confusing them. You confusing the person that tried to play you because they don't know what move to make next. They thought you would be falling all over them. They thought you would like at least try to work on things with them or try to be with them but you don't want them they was just your secret so for a lot of y'all i'm feeling like you gotta stop dealing with people that you really don't love that's the advice for y'all because you want to be with somebody else you want to be with this person that's strong strong secure independent and confident and career focused but yet you have other people on the side that's trying to like trap you or trying to like make you believe that they are pregnant, they trapped, all this type of shit. You got people around you that's trying to like put themselves, put you in a compromising position. And it's because they know you don't love them, but they want you to like, it's like, well, how to play me. They never really loved me. So I'm going to act this way. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make them mad since they trying to leave me, since they treat me like I was boring to them. I'm going to do them dirty. Now, this could be a Virgo doing this. This could be Scorpio, Gemini. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody that wants to make you think that they are the ones that you love. They the ones you should be with. They the ones you should start a life with. But this is somebody y'all don't even want. So, the advice for y'all is to stop dealing with people that you don't want. Because all you're doing is creating fatal attractions that you really don't want no parts of. Um, after you've done dealt with them. Some of y'all be trying to get away from people and these people just won't go away. And honestly, it's because you need to go away and you need to stay away from these people. Stop entertaining whoever these people are. And that way you won't have to worry about them fucking up your life when you get ready to move forward. Okay, pile three. One forty-two, twenty-four. Okay, pile three. What's hidden for pile three? What is hidden for pile three? Somebody does love you, pal three, but they not gonna they not gonna allow you to overwhelm them. They're not gonna allow you to stress them out. Some of y'all are wondering, some of y'all may watch every pal, um, but some of y'all are wondering like, why can't I get this person that I love to be under my spell? Why can't I get them to come running back? Why can't I get them to show me their true feelings? Why can't I get them to say this, to say that? It's like y'all are trying to control somebody that you know loves you. It's like, okay, well, this person loved me, so they should do what I say. They should do what I say. They should do this. They should do... That's not love. Just because a person loves you don't mean that they're going to do everything that you tell them to do. They're supposed to love you and be your be the person that's there, like your partner, not your flunky. 
some of y'all are looking for the person that you love to be your flunky instead of being like your partner. And this is the reason why they don't want to be with you. A lot of y'all could be lying, saying that you and this person are still together, but this is somebody that is detaching. And they feel like they need to detach from you because you have like a female or a man. This if you it don't matter if you're a man or a woman. This could be somebody looking at you like you have a female in the background is really destroying things for you. Like this could be a female friend. This could be like a female that you've been fucking with on the low. But it's a it's somebody in the background is really destroying like something for you, and they feel like you are allowing it to go on, and you are actually a part of it. So if you're wondering why like the person that you love don't want to reach out to you, why they don't want to talk to you, why do they act like they better off without you and they know that that's not how they really feel, they're doing this to you because this is somebody that really feels like they need to bring balance within their own life. This is somebody that feels like they are at peace when they're not with you. I'm not going to lie. Some of y'all, they feel like you bring too much pain into their life. You bring too much bullshit into their life and they feel like you like to say very rude shit to them like... This somebody is looking at you like you like to hurt them. It's fun for you. And they feel like you do that to them because of what you're going through in your own personal life. So if you have another person that's dragging you down or being a burden towards you, say if you have kids with somebody else, but you really want to be with this person right here that you love or that you were dating, um, the person that you have a child with is standing in the way of the connection that you have with this person. Some of y'all, you may feel like, okay, well, the only thing that's keeping me and my person apart is child support, or is this divorce, or is this, is that. That's what you're blaming it on, but you don't have to be without this person. Some of y'all are kind of like blaming this person about the fact that you're going through a legal situation, whether this be child support, a divorce, or anything. Some of y'all are blaming them for something that another person is taking you through. And this person know that you're trying to punish them for something and they're not willing to stick around and take your punishment. This is somebody that's not willing to stick around and be your punching bag for when for when you upset about the fact that you can't check your baby mama or you can't check your baby daddy or put somebody in their place or get mad at the right person in your life or get mad at the person that's actually trying to destroy you. They looking at you as if you blame them for everything that has ever taken place in your life. And they feel like they're not going to be the person that you blame. They running. They feel like it's time for you to realize where you went wrong. It's time for you to grow up. Um, and it's time for you to make a different move. Some of y'all blame this person because we got workplace affair. So this could have been something dealing with a workplace affair. But a lot of y'all blame this person for it. If you have kids with somebody else, oh, if my baby mom put me on child support, it's this person's fault. It's they fault. It's this, this. No. How about y'all start blaming your baby mama for just being a childish ass, lazy, bum ass bitch for wanting to steal your money? Maybe this is somebody that just wanted to rob you. Take, your, take all the money that you had. It had nothing to do with you moving forward to this person that you love. It just had everything to do with the fact that you had a child with somebody that was a bum from the get-go or you had a child with somebody that was out to get you from the get-go. This Some of y'all feel like by you falling in love with somebody else and by you wanting to be with another person, it flipped your life upside down. I wouldn't have never been on child support if I wouldn't have fell in love with this person. So, of course, it's their fault. But why not just blame the person that's putting you on child support if you take... Like, some of y'all take care of your kids. And it's like this person still puts you on child support and they put you on child support out of spite. I don't want you to be with the person that you love. I don't want you to have a relationship with the person you love. I don't want this. I don't want that. Some of y'all, this person puts you on child support out of spite. They dragging you through court. They dragging you to court. Even if you're married to somebody and they're trying to divorce you or they've been threatening to divorce you and now they finally dragging you to court. They doing this out of spite. They're bitter at the fact that you love somebody else and not them. So they are the ones that's to blame for that. They are the ones that's in the wrong for that. Because no, you're not doing something to get support for the kid. You're doing something to satisfy your own broke down ass ego. Of the fact that you lost. Of the fact that you just don't have somebody heart because you're not a good person. Because you would rather drain that person and see them as a fucking cash cow. Instead of seeing them as a human being that you could actually love. 
This is somebody that never really loved you. Y'all have a child with somebody that never really loved you. They saw you as a cash cow. And it's like, well, I'm going to get my cash one way or the other. If you move on, that's just my excuse to file child support on you. If you move on, it's just my excuse to divorce you and try to get your money. That's just the excuse that they needed to put that move into play. But this is somebody that always planned on doing you like this. And it's like y'all are wanting the person that you love to be blamed because they left you in this situation alone. How could you leave me? And you know I'm dealing with this child support shit. How could you leave me? You know I'm going through this divorce. How could you leave me? You know I'm doing this or I'm doing that. You gave them no choice. Why should somebody sit around and be the, and and get blamed for something that they don't have nothing to do with? Now I could see like this is your situation, um, pile three. But it's like this is somebody that would have been willing to go through the motions with you. The person that you love was willing to go through the motions with you. They was willing to go through this life with you. But you push them away. It's like all of the anger that you felt for the person that you have the child with. Ooh, I want to call their ass this. I want to say this to that bitch. I want to say that to that bitch. I want to call this call this man that. I want to call them that. It's like the shit that you wanted to say to them, you went back and you said all of that shit to the other person. Instead, you took all of your anger and frustration out on the other person that you love. Well, you this and you that and you that. And y'all did this to this person because you felt like you couldn't attack your baby mom or you couldn't attack your baby daddy. But my thing is, why do you feel like it's fair game to attack somebody that ain't did nothing to you? Don't you think the person that you should be attacking in this situation is the person that you really hurt about? The person that you feel has really done you wrong? You should be attacking your baby mom or your baby daddy. A lot of y'all lost the person that you love. This person left you behind because you were too willing to make them into your villain. You were too eager to turn them into your bad guy. And they never once hurt you. For a lot of y'all, your baby mama could have even got you put in jail. This is the type of person. The other person possibly like... If there was ever a situation involved where the other person that you love had to call the police on you... This is somebody that called the police on you because they felt they needed to, you know, separate from you. I need you to, I need you away. I need you out. I need you gone before the situation ex escalates. But they didn't never want you to get locked up. This is somebody that's like, nah, don't lock them up. I just need them off my property. But the person you have the child with, take their ass to jail. Take them to jail because they came over here and they did this, 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 and that. Y'all possibly have went to jail behind something that this, this person you have this child with has done or said about you. Y'all have y'all have been in bad positions because of this person. And I guarantee you they did not care when they was throwing you in them bad positions. They did not care if something would be on your record. They did not care. They never cared. And the crazy part is this is the person that you never hurt. Imagine your baby mama or your baby daddy calling the police on you, getting you locked up, and you never once laid your hands on them. But then we go over here to the person that you love, and they call the police on you, but you actually hurt them. You actually put your hands on them. You actually did something to them, and they still, you, you, got, you get where I'm going with this? This is like y'all taking like the trauma that you received from another person and placing it onto the person that never hurt you. Placing it on to the person that actually did genuinely love you. Oh, I know the person that I love didn't do nothing to me. But guess what? I'm still finna treat them like this. Or I'm still finna do this to them. I'm still finna do that to them. Y'all could have felt like shit. So you treated the person that you love like shit. You did everything to this person over here that you felt you wanted to do to your baby mama. Or that you wanted to do to your baby daddy. Your baby mama or your baby daddy got you locked up. They they put their hands on you. And it's like you wanted to hit them back. But you felt you couldn't. And you still got locked up. You still went to jail. You still was in a bad position. But the other person, it's like you try to provoke them. You try to hit them. You try to make them angry. You do everything in your power to bully the other person. You do everything in your power to hurt the other person. Even put your hands on the other person. Some of y'all have done so much to the other person and this person has never done anything to you. But everything that you're doing to the person that you love all stems from you 
feeling like, well, I couldn't get my baby mama back or I couldn't get my baby daddy back. I didn't have a chance to say, fuck you, bitch, or I didn't have a chance to do this to this person. So I'm just going to do it to the person that's always loved me. Fuck it. You finna feel my wrath now. And it's like, why? Why would you do that? A lot of y'all lost the person that you love because you didn't want to, you didn't really want to understand or open your eyes to who was really hurting you. A lot of y'all feel like, I'm going I'm to just put it out there, like, you, the bullies, the people that bully you in your life, you don't stand up to your bullies. You allow your bullies to bully you and then you try to go bully a person that you feel you can, um, you can topple, like, you try to go out, you try to go bully the person that you feel is sweet towards you, loving towards you. Oh, if you sweet, if you loving, that means you weak. So it's like a lot of y'all look at the person that you love as being weak because of the fact that they loved you. Because of the fact that they never hurt you and cheated on you and dogged you out like the baby mama or the baby daddy did. You look at them as if something is wrong with them because you too busy not looking at yourself and realizing that. Something is wrong. You're traumatized by the fact that you never healed from a situation that somebody else did to you. Somebody else traumatized you. Somebody else hurt you. And you never got a chance to heal from that. And yeah, I feel like something is wrong with the person that you love because they are not this dog ass version of themselves. They are not a dog like your baby mama is. They are not a dog like your baby daddy is. So, of course, something is wrong with them. You're not toxic. So something is wrong with you. I need to bring the toxicity into your life. I need to bully you now. I need to put my hands on you because I couldn't put my hands on my baby mama or my baby daddy. I need to hurt you because I couldn't hurt my baby mama or my baby daddy. So this is payback. But all you're doing is losing something that could have been beautiful in your life. Because like I said, why would you hurt somebody that never hurt you? What are you getting payback on them for? The person that love you. It makes no sense. And then also, don't ever assume that somebody is weak because they kind-hearted towards you, because they loving towards you. Some of y'all are throwing away real love to entertain something that was never real to you. And it's like you look at, the, like I said, you view the other person as, oh, you're weak. You're weak. You're nothing. Um, because you love me. Because this. Because that. And then it's like once this person leave you behind, you're upset with them. You're upset with them because you feel like they were supposed to stay in your life. They were supposed to stick around to allow you to abuse them. You are trying to get something out of your system. You are trying to get your pain and your heartbreak out of your system. And you feel like you weren't done taking things out on the person that you love and that you know loved you. I wasn't done mistreating them yet. So how dare they walk away? How about you just mistreat the person that hurt you? How about you just not mistreat anybody and just say to yourself or admit to yourself that I'm broken, I'm hurt. I don't know how to heal. I don't know how to move forward. And I don't know how to forgive the person that really did hurt me. So yes, I became the person that they are. It's like the person that bullied you turned you into a bully. They turned you into the person that's delivering pain to people that don't deserve it. Just like you didn't deserve it when the person that you have this child with hurt you. Just because they did something to you doesn't mean you deserved it. You didn't deserve what they did to you, and the person that you love doesn't deserve what you're doing to them. It's a toxic pattern that you are expecting somebody to repeat with you. Y'all are expecting somebody to allow you to abuse them and hurt them because you feel like you didn't get the chance to do, do that in the last situation, and it's like, no. Y'all are trying to treat the right person like a hoe and treat the wrong person like royalty. And the person that you should have been treating like a hoe is getting away scot-free or whatever the fuck they want to do. They still dogging you. They still hurting you. But it's just this time you're not mad about it. And you're not mad about it because you feel like you have another person as your punching bag. Oh, I'm in another relationship, so I don't care what you do to me. Because I'm just going to go do it to my person. And that's how I'm going to feel better about myself. That's how I'm going to feel better. That's how I'm going to feel like I got my issue off. But it's like, why do that? We got jackass. Why do that? Because once you hurt the person you love, you're going to feel dumb. Because you're going to wish you had them back. You're going to wish you had them back in your life. A lot of y'all are not expecting things to turn out a certain way. Or to play out a certain way. You are not expecting 
um, somebody to make you feel unworthy. Because a lot of y'all were trying your hardest to make the person that you love feel unworthy. You tried to make this person feel like you were better than them. You don't deserve me. I'm better than you. But you were only doing this to this person because you feel like those were the words that you should have said to your baby mama or your baby daddy. You got to open your eyes and recognize who you're looking at. Open your eyes and recognize the situation that you are moving into and stop hurting or stop putting so much pressure on what you're moving away from. Some of y'all are taking your pain with you into your future. You're taking your trauma and pain with you. And it's like you cannot do that. You got to let that shit go if you're trying to build a life with this other person. But a lot of y'all are so fed up by what another person is doing to you that you're treating the person that you love like y'all don't even have no memories. You ain't nothing to me. I don't know you like that. And you don't even feel like you're making a mistake by being this way. A lot of y'all feel like you are you have valid reasons for, for acting this way, but you don't. I have a valid reason for mistreating this person. I have a valid reason for hurting this person, but you really do not have a valid reason for hurting them. You just want to break somebody else the way that you've been broken. You just want to hurt somebody else and allow them to experience the same pain that you went through. But they don't deserve to experience this pain. They don't, ex they don't deserve to experience this hurt the same way you didn't deserve to experience it. All y'all doing is killing every memory that you have with the person that you actually do love. You killing every memory you have with them. You killing the situation completely. Y'all are self-sabotaging somebody that you feel is irreplaceable. Y'all self-sabotaging a relationship with somebody that you don't want to leave, want to leave. You don't want to replace them. A lot of y'all want to build a family with this person. But you feel like confusing them is the best thing. Treating them like the other person treated me is the best thing. They'll accept me back. They'll forgive me. They'll want to be with me again. No, this person not going to want to be with you again. This is somebody that's focused on their money. They setting strong boundaries in their life. And they're not going to sit there and be somebody's punching bag. Or sit there and deal with somebody that don't know how to admit when they hurting. So they just take it out on everybody else. This somebody that's not dealing with that. This, this seems all so familiar to them. This seems like something that they went through with you before. Or something that they've experienced before. And they're not willing to go through it again. This is somebody that's cutting you off. Cutting it off before they before you even get a chance to blink. They don't really care if you want a family with them no more. This is somebody that's feeling like I will not be your punching bag. You will not keep hurting me because the next person hurts you. Okay, so what's the advice? Let's see what they signs are. This person. This person could be a Sagittarius. They could be a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, or um, a Pisces, y'all. So the advice for y'all is, what's the advice? You can't keep expecting for shit to go well in your life when you are constantly bumping heads with somebody on purpose. Some of y'all are doing something for your own entertainment or you hurting somebody for your own entertainment. You hurting somebody because it's funny to you and a lot of y'all it's time for you to self-reflect and figure out why you are the way that you are. Why do you think that the shit that you're doing is okay? Um, why do you feel like somebody is supposed to still be with you after you've hurt them to the core or after 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 you've like caused a breakup for a lot of y'all y'all cause y'all own breakup and then you you be surprised when it actually happens you be surprised when this person actually walks away from you they're walking away from you because you feel like testing them is is your life mission some of y'all feel like testing them is a game that's your life mission let me cheat on this person and dog them out and see if they gonna still be with me let me cheat on this person and hurt them and see if they gonna still fuck with me let me put my hands on this person and see if they're going to take me back and allow me to do stupid shit to them. Y'all are kind of like wishing for somebody to not know their worth. Y'all hoping that somebody don't know their worth. Y'all hoping that somebody um, starts to look at themselves as somebody that needs to work on themselves. You want this person that you love to believe you got work to do. 
you're the one that's crazy. You're the one that's doing wrong. You're the one that's this. You're the one that's that. I know I hurt you. I know I cheated on you. I know I put my hands on you. But you're the one that needs to change. I don't. This is how y'all looking at the situation. It's like you want this person to believe that they are the problem. You don't want to change your ways. You want to continue to abuse this person mentally, emotionally, and maybe even physically for, for most. And it's like, I don't want nobody to say nothing about it. I don't want nobody to make me take accountability. I don't want this person to even speak up. I need them to be quiet about the fact that I'm purposely trying to hurt them. And I need to, them to believe that I'm trying to hurt them because I am the prize. You need to be chasing me. I'm the one that you, you should want. I'm the one that you should be having this relationship with. So y'all want somebody, it's like you hurting somebody to force them to believe that they need to be all up your ass. I'm the prize. I'm the one that you should be chasing. I don't care what I do to you. You need to be coming back my way, telling me that you still want to be with me, telling me this, telling me that. You need to be coming back begging me. That's what you need to be doing. For a lot of y'all, this is how you see a relationship. This is how you expect this person to act. This is how you believe things are supposed to go. You feel like they're supposed to allow you to keep secrets. And if they don't, you're going to continue to do this little process all over again. Okay. I'm going to try to go fuck with them again. See if they're going to try to let me keep my secrets. If they mention anything about my secrets, I'm going to dog them out. That's dead. That's done. That's over with. I'm letting y'all know right now that's not going to work. Closing this cycle. I'm letting y'all know right now y'all going to have to grow up. You can't be this toxic individual.